Mapfather Pro is designed to work with the M300 RTK and a DRTK2 mobile station. Follow these steps to ensure a successful mapping mission. First step, turn on the drone. Second step, turn on the DRTK2 mobile station by long pressing the power button. There are three buttons from left to right. There is a link button, the power button, and the mode button. Make sure the mode button is blinking five times per interval. This indicates it is in mode number five, which is the M300 RTK operating mode. To switch the operating mode, see this infographic. Third step, turn on the remote controller. Enter DJI Pilot, enter the RTK menu, turn on RTK positioning. This enables RTK for the drone, either the onboard RTK or with an RTK service. Next. Select the RTK service type as DRTK2 mobile station. If you see not connected, select it and find your mobile station. For us, it is simply called RTK. This process may take a few minutes and a few tries for the RTK mobile station's data to converge and to be fully connected. The RTK data must converge before operation. After a few minutes, make sure that the status has nothing in it and that there are values for the mobile station column. When this happens, you will notice that the DJI Pilot updates the home point. Home point updated. Check map to confirm. Before leaving DJI Pilot, make sure you can manually take off. If you cannot take off in DJI Pilot, you won't be able to take off in Map Pilot Pro. You can immediately tell if you're using RTK by viewing the satellite number in the top menu bar. If there is an R next to the signal strength bars, you're using RTK. Entering MapPilot Pro, you can see the RTK panel will be updating with information, and that it will say being used as yes and solution status as fixed. If you see flight start error, that is most likely an issue with the RTK communication, so go through these steps again and make sure you have a valid RTK connection. That is how to use a DRTK2 mobile station and an M300 with MatPilot Pro.